Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Sora Sir classes. Today the topic will be Marshallian approach. Now we are also available in online, so you can contact us on this particular website, which is www.sorosirclasses.com. And in any case of any query, you have any query, any question, then you can contact us on this particular number. Now, before starting the Marshallian approach, here the focus will be on quantity. adjustment now what this marshallian approach actually mean it means that or it is based on the assumption that sellers will increase the quantity of output increase the quantity of output in response to excess demand or demand price so whenever the, there will be excess demand price that means if say the price of demand is pd it is greater than PS then the sellers will react to this by increasing the quantity of output so we will be dealing with two cases first is the normal situation second is the decreasing cost industry where the supply curve is downward sloping which is not generally the case and here we have two sub cases so sub case A and we have B and we will comment on the stability of the equilibrium okay for each particular case now in the normal situation we will draw a demand curve which is downward sloping and a supply curve which is upward sloping this is the generally what we see okay So demand curve here we have supply curve okay and say E is the equilibrium where they intersect Q star and P star okay now say in the market the quantity is OQ1 so if OQ1 is the quantity let me change the ink for you guys so given this we will have so this will be the price demand pd and this will be the price supply okay so we see price demand is greater than price supply so we there is a situation where there is excess of demand price so we know that sellers will react to this by actually sellers will react to this by actually increasing the quantity of output that means q so as you will increase the quantity of output that will you will move in this direction so you will increase actually as the output rises the demand price will fall so demand price will fall from pd to po and you will move along the segment say ae so you are moving this way and as the quantity will rise the supply price will increase from ps to po and say you are moving along the segment be upwards so you will finally reach this point and in this case the equilibrium will be stable in marsh in marshallian sense okay so this is very important
नेक्स्ट डिक्रीजिंग कॉस्ट इंडस्ट्री द फीचर ऑफ डिक्रीजिंग कॉस्ट इंडस्ट्री इज दैट एज मोर फॉर्म जॉइन्स मोर फॉर्म्स जॉइन कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन विल फॉल ओके सो एज कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन विल फॉल योर सप्लाई कर विल बी डाउनवर्ड स्लोपिंग विच इज जनरली नॉट द केस ओके डाउनवर्ड स्लोपिंग ओके सो इन सब केस ए वी विल मेक द सप्लाई कर टू बी फ्लैटर और इट हैज लेसर स्लो देन डिमांड कर ओके सो लेट एस ड्रॉ दिस सो सप्लाई कर बींग फ्लैटर मीन्स इट हैज अ इट हैज लेसर स्लोप ओके सो वी हैव फ्लैट सप्लाई कर एंड वी हैव अ स्टीप डिमांड कर बट बोथ अ डाउनवर्ड स्लोपिंग माइंडेड ओके सो लेट एस ड्रॉ द इक्वलीब्रियम सो इक्वलीब्रियम इज दिस Let me change the ink. Now say, O Q one is the amount of quantity that is there in the market. So this is your demand price, and this is your supply price. Okay. So what happens? Demand price is still greater than supply price. so given that the pro there is a pd is greater than ps producers will react to this or react to this excess demand price we have an excess demand price so producers will react to this by actually increasing the output level so they will increase the q as they are increasing the q they will move towards this and finally e star will be achieved so equilibrium will be stable again in marshallian sense now we move on to sub case 2 now before starting let me ask you a question what do you think whether in this case the equilibrium will be stable or not think let's see your answer matches to my answer or not so in sub case 2 we will have or we will make the supply curve to be steeper we are still under decreasing cost industry and these are the various uh, sub cases that you can find so supply curve to be steeper so it has a greater slope than the demand curve okay so let us see this so supply curve is steeper so this is a supply curve and we make a flatter demand curve it has a less it has a less slope comparatively than the supply curve this is our equilibrium okay let us denote it as a star so if we come back to e star point then our equilibrium will be stable so say in the econ in the market the quantity that is actually being operated or the quantity being produced is oq1 so we have okay so if we consider this then this will be the p d that means demand price and this will be ps however we are look in all the cases we have done a situation where uh, demand price was greater than the supply price so we were having an excess demand price situation so if we make a quantity or choose a quantity which is less than q star we will not be have we cannot approach or we cannot 
come to the, or obtain that particular situation so we that's why we have to pick a quantity that is greater than q star so say we have q2 which is greater than q star and so we have this so let this be q2 so if this is q2 then we have this okay so this will be our pd that is demand price and this will be our supply price so again we have the situation that demand price is greater than the supply price which is a situation of excess demand price so now again the producers will react to this and they will increase the output level this is the reaction which we have been actually observing so if they increase the output level that means they will move in this direction so this equilibrium point will never be achieved okay so in this case e star which was the equilibrium is unstable in marshallian sense okay so we ultimately got an unstable equilibrium so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys if it was please like and leave a comment and stay tuned for our upcoming tutorials and thank you for watching